after watching the first episode, it had me hooked. I mean, literally hooked. And the hook got deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm pretty sure this was one of those shows where the makers wanted it to be a one-time thing. But it turned out so good that fans are like, you better fucking make sure you make another season. Now, the ending of the series could be an indicator there might be another season, but it could just be something for us to hold on to as fans. And if that's the case, well then... That shit ain't funny, motherfucker! Never mind. Thank you, Netflix. And may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. The Netflix original series Stranger Things was created by Matt and Ross Duffer and tells the tale of a boy named Will Byers who is taken by a demon of some sort to another dimension and his friends, Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, try to find him. Now, along the journey, they meet a girl named Eleven who helps them find Will, but also is the reason why Will was abducted in the first place. Now, she didn't do this on purpose. It turns out she was being experimented on in a government lab and was forced to gain intel from communists but she accidentally ran into the creature and opened the doorway for the creature to enter our world. Okay, so straight off the bat, I was not interested in watching the series at all. The trailer did not intrigue me in any way. And I heard the series took place back in the 1980s, which made me want to watch it even more. And but then one night I was bored. One night I decided, you know, what the hell, I might as well watch it. And I was reminded once again, don't judge a book by its cover because I was sorely mistaken. I really enjoyed this series on the simple fact that it was nothing like I ever saw before. I mean, the plot put the characters together really well and wasn't messy. The children actors such as Finn Wolfhard, Millie Brown, Gaten Matarazzo, and Caleb and Laughlin all were believable and were great. I feel Gaten is going to be one of the most funniest movie comedians on earth. I'm not saying that his performance in Stranger Things was laugh out loud hilarious. I'm just saying that there were moments in the series that showed great promise. And I will be waiting in the future to see you in bigger comedy roles, my friend. If I had to say one bad thing about the series, why did Eleven have to die when she killed the creature? Why? Were they connected? Did her energy thrive off him? Like, why did she have to die? Was it so much energy that she had to put in dismembering the creature and bursting it into millions of pieces to handle it? Her body couldn't handle it and she had to die too? That was very, very suspicious to me. And I really want that answered in Stranger Things Season 2. Now, here is my predictions for Stranger Things Season 2. Okay, so after Will Byer's traumatic experience in the Upside Down, which is the name for the other dimension that the characters in this series called it, I believe he gained the power to travel back and forth between the Upside Down and our world. I remember from the last scene of Stranger Things when Will was in the bathroom and he threw up the little swarm thing, but then all of a sudden he saw a twitch and he was in the Upside Down and then he reverted back to the real world. I believe that the worm-like thing that they pulled out of Will's mouth, Mother Joyce Byers, and the deputy pulled out his mouth, the worm thing, was a way for the creature to reproduce himself and to make another version of himself. That's why he didn't kill Will. Now, he didn't succeed because they pulled the thing out of his mouth before the process was complete. And now, instead of Will being having harboring another version of that creature, he has the powers to go back and forth between our world and the Upside Down, but he won't know how to control it. And since Will doesn't know how to control this power yet, the government agency that was experimenting on Eleven will find out and then take will and then experiment on him to try to gain information from the communists with him thank you guys for watching my series review of stranger things please leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys thought of the series and what do you guys think will happen in stranger things season two make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from this channel and until next time forward always